Here is me again, Mr. Tutor Rex, and today I'm going to cover links and how to add header and footer, and also how to add a background or a watermark in your Adobe form or Adobe article. So this is an article that I just made in uh, Word, and uh, here is a Word file and then I saved it as PDF and then I opened it up in uh, Acrobat alright so this is my form and I want to add links to it so what what can I do here I simply highlight my introduction for example I right click on it and then I go say create a link so in the pop-up I look at it and there is a invisible rectangle here and a visible rectangle if I click on visible rectangle it offers different styles one is the underline which will draw an underline underneath your text and one is the solid which is a solid rectangle and the dashed and underline so I go with underline for now and let's change the color to maybe blue and here in the link action you see go to page view open a file or open a web page in our case we want to go to a page view so our users can actually jump through from our content to the actual uh, topic all right so i click next and in the new open window uh, it says okay scroll down and go to the view you like which is this one for us introduction and then set to your link so I set the link and let's try it now so if I go on introduction it changes the shape I click on it and it jumps introduction so we can do that for part one and part two as well and part three I'm gonna go for part two and I'm gonna use it a different way so if you click on tools then the content you'll see a link so if you click on link then our mouse will change to this as you can see here so I draw a rectangle like this and then I let it go and again the same window will pop up so it's the same thing this time I'm gonna click on invisible rectangle and go to a page view so I'm gonna drag this oh sorry I have to first so I'm gonna click next and then it asks me the same question I go to part 2 and then uh, I set my link alright now let's see how, if it works so if I click on introduction go to introduction I go back up if I click on part 2 it goes to part 2 alright so that's about links now let's move on to header and footers so in the page panel pages you click on pages and then there's a header and footer here so we click on header and footer and then in the sub menu we click on add a header and footer so a new window will pops up in this menu we see the font type that we can choose and the size and the color and everything for our header or footer and the margins adjustments that if you can if you play around with the numbers you see these blue dashed lines go up and down or left and right and then you just get the position you like all right let's see how it works so I'm just gonna type a header for us this is a header and if you if you notice here it's on your left side here it appears here if you want to move it a little bit to the left you just simply play around with your left uh, or lower it sorry you go lower and it moves so now you can see the use of margins well you can al also add, uh, say something like I don't know master Tutor X and on the right side we can add a page number or a date if you want 
so let's say we want to add a date but before that there's a page number and date format I'm gonna choose a date format to see what if they have what I need yes they do here mm-dd-yy I think it's good I click on OK and then we say insert date alright if you can notice here we can also play around with the right margin to have it match the other one maybe this one yeah and uh, let's go for the footer footer has the same idea so you can write whatever you like like this is a footer and the center footer is my article and my right footer can be page number so I'm gonna put the page number then we click OK if we click on apply to multiple uh, you can add bring all the PDFs you want like different PDF files and add them all together and give them all same header and footer but I'm gonna click on OK so it thinks a little bit and and it's added to our article let's check it out so if you notice uh, headers are right there there's a, this is a header by Mr. Tutor X this is the date which is today and the uh, footer this is a footer and there's a page number so this is page one and this is page two and so on so that's about header and footer so we have a background here what is a background background is like uh, if you have a logo or something you can add it behind your article so I click on it and then in the sub menu I click on add a background and in the new pop-up win window I we see we see this uh, pop-up window so here uh, you can either change the color of your article to whatever you like or you can just simply go back to white which makes more sense in our case and I'm gonna add a picture so I click on file and then you click on browse we look for a picture whatever we like to add let's say let, let's let's choose this one it doesn't matter so now we have this and we have we have to set uh, the properties the way we like so let's bring down the opacity maybe this is good you can also bring it up or down or other like center or whatever you like like left or right and then you click on OK so it adds your picture to your article so let's see if it added the picture yes it did so as you can see our big picture is quite big actually but it's uh, behind our article now all right let's go back to background let's say we don't like this background we simply click on background and just click and it asks you are you sure you want to remove it and you said yes all right watermarks are the same idea so we're gonna click on watermark and then add a watermark and now in the open window uh, we see this there's a text so let's type whatever we like like I'm gonna type Mr. Tutor X and I think the size is okay I don't care about the size right now but let's change the color to maybe orange now this thing this thing uh, appears on top of the page I want it behind so I click on behind and then I don't want it this solid so I reduce the opacity maybe this is good so and there are other things like changing the appearance to like you can rotate it you can do whatever you like here you can see and then after you're happy with your watermark you just click on OK so it added the text the logo uh, to your article so that's about it guys thanks so much for your support and uh, for your likes please like it if you like it and also please subscribe to my channel and 
yeah see you later